All right, team, today I got a little present for you. We're gonna be doing salmon and poppy oat, one of my favorite gifts to make for others around the holiday season. Let's get in the action. We're hanging out here at my good friend's farm uh, at Wooden Nickel Farm with Shannon and Matt. Shannon was so nice, she walked us around. It's the end of the season, so she was like, ah, oh, let's pick some shishitos and check out these uh, cool little uh, eggplants. And we got, we got some different vegetables and herbs anyways. Um, so we've got some really fun ingredients to put in our little present underneath our salmon that we're gonna steam everything up with. Let's start with this little eggplant and I'm gonna take my peeler and just go right on top. We don't need a whole lot of each vegetable. I just want a nice uh, assortment of different flavors and profiles, flavor profiles, colors, textures. So we'll put this little pile of eggplant over here. Uh, next, let's go with some carrot, some ribbons of carrot. When it comes to doing the shishito peppers, I'm gonna use my knife and just slice. Uh, if seeds offend you, take them out. I say eat like a local, but I get it. And you can hand tear these if you want to. The idea is to make sure that everything depending on its fiber uh, is going to cook the same as everything else so the more fibrous it is the thinner it has to be these little uh, wonderful tomatoes we'll just slice in half so we can get some of that juice out of them and they'll help create the sauce mushrooms let's get a little heat in there i saw these little jalapenos and we don't need much. That'll work. I like these little peppers. Nathan, did you even hear what Shannon said? Oh, yeah, there's little mini sweets. Yeah, mini sweets. Use a little lemon juice here in a little bit. And so this is a nice little, uh, I do have a little bit of garlic I wanted to add. Keep the dill over here, a bit of rosemary. I'm loving looking at this little pile of vegetables. Uh, it's a celebration of the season, you know, everything's on its way out. It's nice to have one more trip to the garden to celebrate everything. Got these thin slices of lemon. I think it'll be fun and kind of brighten everything up. Now we have to make the actual parchment piece. So let me show you. You take a piece of parchment, fold it in half. We're gonna cut a heart shape out. Play in the wind, of course. So starting on the side that we folded, we're going to come up and arc our way down. So coming up. And this just makes it easier to crimp in the end. I'll show you. A little arts and crafts with Chef Eric today. This is great. <laughs> Could be a new show. All right, and not so much a heart. Okay, <laughs> I, I should have had my six-year-old here to help me out. Uh, but it, for what we're doing, I think this is gonna be a-okay. So we're gonna take, this is gonna be our bottom half, and this is gonna be our top half, and we'll take a little bit of this butter. Get it on your hands, that's okay. And spread it on the bottom, spread it on the top. And let's get some of our vegetables right in there. Make sure you're leaving space around the edges. Get a little smattering of all those vegetables. Oh yeah. Some of that eggplant. A little bit of that rosemary, a little bit of that dill. And before we top with the salmon, we need to make sure and season our vegetables. So. Toss. Quarry Arctic salmon right on top. Touch more seasoning. Knock a butter. And let's add one of those slice. Let's do the thin slice of lemon right on top. A bit of lemon juice. This is so much fun. I wait all year round to do this dish. And I like to put a little splash of crisp white wine in there as well. Just a touch. 
Now fold that top over and we're gonna crimp. Notice right here where that heart started, we're just gonna crimp, 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 making a little pouch. Look how cool that is. One last little crimp. And the idea here is to keep all of that moisture in. When that white wine and lemon juice start steaming up, we're gonna see this whole thing puff up just a little bit. One last thing we need to do is to put a little bit of butter on the top and bottom of our, of our little pouch here to help it keep from burning. So I love using my hands. We'll just go right on top. You can use olive oil and a paintbrush if you like. And then to get it on the bottom, we just put it right there on the board. And away we go. So if everyone likes the look of this, let's go ahead and put it on. Again, we've got a, I thought it was 500 degrees. Looking up now, we're at 400. So I'm gonna open up my draft door just a bit. Open up my control tower just a touch. I've got a cast iron piece sitting right over my natural lump charcoal. I'm just gonna cook, put my in papio right there. We're gonna close our dome, and look, it's already starting to puff up. We're gonna close our dome and let this roast for about 10 minutes. Now, we don't wanna overcook our salmon, we just wanna cook it to the point where those vegetables are done, everything's steamed up, and that salmon's at about 130 degrees internal temperature. Again, that's about 10 minutes at this 400 and rising grill. Go for 425 just to be safe. Oh yeah, as soon as I opened it up, I got those aromas of the salmon and the vegetables and the garlic, the white wine. I love the puffiness we got here. And the butter is actually a great indicator to tell us how roasted we are and how well we're doing. So it's been about 10 minutes at this point. I'm gonna close it down, head on inside and get a fork because I always freaking forget to get a fork when I gotta do the taste. That'll give us that two minutes we need to put us at 12 minutes at that 425 degree mark on this beautiful salmon and papillote. And papillote. And papillote? <laughs> yes, and papillote. 12 minutes. Oh yeah. Look how cool that is. The aromas off the bat are so much fun. You can tell how it's puffed up nicely. We can use our nice little pair of scissors and just open from the top. And that is why I love this during the holiday season. If that doesn't remind you of opening a present, I don't know what does, you know. Uh, and this is so much fun. Big, bold flavors. The vegetables look great. The salmon, of course. Ah, uh, flaky as can be. That's gonna be an amazing bite. That's lovely. Hmm. What a great way to slow things down and celebrate the season. You know, again, to do this for someone else or a group of people, it's easy enough to do one. It's the same principle to do five or six at the same time, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Folks, I implore you, do this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment. Let us know what you're doing for this holiday season. From our backyard to yours, cheers and happy growing.